Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the book The Life and Death of Ella, Grand Duchess of Russia by Christopher Warwick. And as the title suggests, this is a biography about Grand Duchess Elizaveta Fyodorovna of Russia. And she was originally born in Hesse Darmstadt and then she married Grand Duke Sergei Alexandrovich and became Grand Duchess of Russia and became really high in the imperial court. And this basically tells her life from childhood until her death when she was assassinated by the Bolsheviks by being thrown down, by being bludgeoned to death and then being thrown down a mine. And she lived an exciting life. She came from a small German court to one of the greatest courts in Europe. And she had beautiful jewels and all this wealth and she was known for her compassion, but also for having elaborate parties and dancing until dawn. But then her husband, Sergei Alexandrovich, got blown up by, um, by Ivan Kalyaev, um, I think Ivan Platonovich Kalyaev, and Then um, she decided for some reason to become a nun and sell all of her jewels and give back to the poor and build a community that helped the less fortunate. And interesting fact, I didn't realize this until I watched a documentary about it later. She, by the Bolsheviks, she was one of the last people rounded up because of her positive influence and her helpful influence in Moscow. She thought maybe, they thought maybe the people might have revolted or, you know, she helped a lot. So, the people that were less fortunate in Moscow. So, she was one of the last people to be rounded up and executed by the Bolsheviks because she she helped the less fortunate in Moscow and maybe I don't know maybe they thought that it would look badly if she were to be the first one rounded up or something but maybe they were worried about repercussions but she was one of the last people rounded up by the Bolsheviks and Another fun fact, she is also a great aunt of Prince Philip, who recently died. So that's also interesting, um, because his grandmother was um, Victoria Mountbatten. So she's a great aunt of Prince Philip, so that's interesting. Um, and yeah, I I really enjoyed this book. I'm really glad I I got it because I got it on I got it at Barnes and Noble, you know, where you can get books printed especially for you. And it wasn't too expensive like it would have been if I would have gotten it maybe from Amazon. So, I'm really glad I was able to get this book relatively cheap. And if you're into reading about the Queen Victoria's family or Imperial Russia, I would really recommend this book. Um, it, it's just, I'm really glad I read it. It's just a biography, but it's, I think it'd be really good to have in your collection if you're into that kind of history. Um, and for all of my European audience, um, I'm an American who reads a lot about European history, whether it be English, um, mainly English history and Russian history, but I've, 
I've read a few other things off and on. Um, so that's something that interests me. Have any of my European audiences, have you guys read a lot more about American history than you have your own history in Europe or wherever you're, um, wherever you're from? Um, I'd love to know that in the comment section because I love talking to you guys. Um, I, you know, I love, you know, talking to you guys and getting, hearing what you all have to say. So, that's all I want to say about this book. And I am also, um, for right now, I am reading a an audiobook about the Borgias. And I am also reading a child's book about India, about Princess Jahanara, whose father had the Taj, Taj Mahal built for her mother. And it was his favorite wife, so I'll be reading that. I should finish that relatively quickly because it is, it's part of the Royal Diary series, so it's really an easy read. Um, but I don't want to put a time limit on it because right now I am doing my practicum for public health and I also have a new job. So that's taking precedence over some of my hobbies right now. So anyway, I will see you all in the next video. I love talking to you all and please leave comments and if YouTube isn't being mean, I should be able to answer you guys. So bye guys.